your lucky number for the rest of the day. Keep it tuned to Game Show Network, and good things will follow. From Hollywood, it's the game where knowledge is king and lady luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. Now, here's the host of our show, Jack Perry. You're very kind. Thank you so much, Animal Sport. You're welcome. Once again, to the Joker's Wild, we have some unfinished business. When uh, we assembled here with our regular season, we had a new champion and we had a new challenger. And right now, Jay Stewart's going to reintroduce that champion and the challenger. Jay? Thank you, Jack. Here's our champion returning with over $4,600 in cash and prizes. Here's Larry Price. And his opponent is an editor and a writer, and her interests are jumping ropes, swimming, and roller skating. Meet Carol Kent. Hi, players. Nice to have you back with us, Larry. Uh, the last time you were on this program, you won a game. You won yourself uh, about $4,650 in cash and prizes. And we had already introduced your new challenger, Carol, and our time ran out. So we're going to pick that game up and play it now. How do you feel? Just great. I'm ready to win some money. I can imagine you would be. Anything new happened since it's been quite a while since we chatted? It, uh, it has been. I'm still waiting uh, for the bar results. Uh, I took the California bar. Uh, and, uh, sounds like you've been drinking backstage or something. <laughs> I've got a cold, if that's what you're referring I hope to. It, I, hope, I hope it helps. So we wish you well on the program. And Carol, you, uh, you, uh, you swim and you jump rope and you roller skate. Boy, you've got a lot of energy. I sure do, Jack. I get winded just playing checkers. <laughs> Why, wh where do you do all this? Where do you get all that energy from? Well, um, I think I, I came to a decision in my life that my bod wasn't going to take care of itself, so I better take care of it your what, for me. Gonna, your what? My beautiful body that's turning old and gray. <laughs> so I decided I need to get some exercise in my life, and I've devoted myself to uh, trying to get back in shape. I haven't seen a gray body in a long time. <laughs> But I'm sure yours is quite lovely. We're delighted to have you both here. Let me show you both the categories we'll be using on this program. Your second, Larry. Here it is. The categories are Shakespeare, followed by fairy tales. Then we have news of the 70s, Academy Awards, and spelling bee. Those are the categories. Challenger goes first. That would be you, Carol Kint. Good luck. Well, I'll start off with an easy one, Jack, and I'll try fairy tales. You'll have to spin first, however. Excuse me. <laughs> I want to say one thing. You certainly know this game very well, Carol. Take a spin, see how lucky you are. Whoops. Academy Awards, Spelling Bee, and a pair. Now you can make your Now selection. I can try. Mm -hmm. Well, I used to be pretty good at spelling as a kid, so I think I'm going to go for spelling for 50. Okay, here's the question. Some people might consider this show to be a test of one's intelligence. Let's test yours now by spelling intelligence. I N T E. L-L-I-G-E-N-C-E. -E. Right for $50. Second <laughs> you, Larry Price. Good luck. Joker, spelling me, and news of the 70s. Jack, I will take news of the 70s for 100. In the spring of 1979, a man named Joe Clark defeated Canada's incumbent prime minister, who had been in office for 11 years. Give me the last name of the man he defeated. Pierre... Trudeau. Trudeau is correct, and you have a hundred. <laughs> Carol Kent. Academy Awards, Joker, and Fairy Tales. Well, I think that since I didn't try for Fairy Tales the first time, I'll try for it now, Jack, for 50, please. Okay. Excuse the... me. Um, could I try for it for a hundred? If you'd like. I would like. Okay. Thank you. The Brother Grimm created a fairy tale character called Rumpelstiltskin, who has the ability to spin straw into a precious commodity. What was the precious commodity? Gold. Right, you have $150. Larry Price. Larry Price. Joker, Academy Awards, and a triple. Okay, Jack, I will take uh, Academy Awards for 200 one 1978 film that told of the horrors of a Turkish prison won an award for best original score and best screenplay adapted from another medium. For $200 more, name that chilling film. Midnight Express. And a good one it was. Right, $300. Just <laughs> yes, in time. Got a award, spelling me, and a pair. 
Well, Jack, I'm going to try for Academy Awards for 100, please. The winner of the Best Director Award in 1978 was Michael Cimino, who directed the film that also won Best Picture. Name the film. Can't do it. $100 of you can answer the question, Larry. Jack, I think we are talking about the deer hunter. We are indeed. You go to $400. And a chance to win the game with another spin. Joker, Academy Awards, and a triple. Jack, I will take Academy Awards for 200 Correct answer. Brings you to $600, wins you the game, and brings your winnings up over $5,200. Here we go. The Best Actor Award for 1978 was awarded to John Voight for his portrayal of a paraplegic Vietnam veteran for, sick for a grand total of $5,250. In which film did Voight give his award-winning performance? Coming home. You got it all the way. <laughs> You now run your winnings up to $5,250 and a chance again to spin against the devil. As for you, Carol, I'm very sorry you're going to have to take that old gray body <laughs> backstage where there'll be some nice consolation prizes. Thanks for being with us. Let's say goodbye Thank to you, Carol Jack. Kidd and we'll be back right after these words. People who never Price is the champion. He's won two games. If he could win three more games, here's the bonus he'd get. It's a brand new car! Newest dramatic century, the mid-sized personal luxury car with a spacious, comfortable interior and classic exterior. The century from Buick. But, Larry, we have some more unfinished business, your second bonus game. So come on over and face the devil. Thank you. Well, Larry, we have something unusual. To start this bonus game off, as you know, you have to accumulate $1,000 or more. But if we get to $1,000 or more, we'll start this bonus round by taking you to dinner to the exciting Benahana restaurant. And we would like you to invite uh, uh, seven of your guests to a unique dining experience in a truly oriental atmosphere. Did That's you say the... seven? Yes, yes. Great. Uh -huh. You Great. and seven of your guests, <laughs> and it'll be a Benahana restaurant, and I think that you will have an interesting time. I plus love that, Japanese food. Plus that, if you get to $1,000 more without seeing that devil, you'll get that plus these gifts. Right, Jay? Right, Larry. After dining out on that delicious oriental cuisine, you can prepare it at home with American Electric's kitchen appliances, including the work-saving American food processor. It cuts, shreds, chops, pairs, slices, blends, grinds, and grates. It can turn a cook into a chef, furnished by the American Electric Company. And we'll add a touch of the orient to your home with this oriental rug from Emser International Los Angeles. Old world beauty in this genuine handmade oriental rug of 100% wool piled in luxurious colors and designs. From Emser International of Los Angeles. And finally, Larry, you're really going to get a taste of the Orient because we're flying you to Japan! <laughs> You'll be enjoying 15 fun-filled days of oriental hospitality and culture. You'll visit Tokyo, the world's largest city. It blends the charm of the ancient past with its contemporary present. It's an exciting vacation you won't want to miss, furnished by Club Universe. And Larry, this exciting Oriental package is worth, in cash and prizes, over $3,700. Do you have any rooters out in the audience? Yes, I do. I've got three people with me today. I have my fiancée. She's sitting on next to the aisle, the oh, first yeah. row. And I have my two friends, uh, Lori and Ken Lipton. Well, they got to root you for this one because this is a big package. So give them a spin and stay away from the devil. Come on. First spin, and you have 75, 100. Yes, 275. 100, 200, 275. You want to I'm going to go ahead. You sure? What do they want you to do? No, I'm going to go. Oh, you're going. You're not looking at them. All right, risk of 275. 25, 50, and 150. That's right there. $500. If you stop now, the devil comes up, you lose it. 500 is a lot of money, but I'm going further. Okay. 200. Oh. The devil wants to go to Japan, too, I guess. 
Well, you didn't win it this time, but of course, as you know, one of the virtues of our game is if you can win another game, you come back here and maybe try for the same grouping of prizes again. That's ready to right. try? I'm ready to give it another try. Okay, go on over and face your next opponent. And Jay, tell us who that next opponent is. Jack, here is an administrator who likes to go sailing, enjoys the movies, and has her own dark room. Meet Judy Tess. Hi, Judy. Hi, Jack. You know, I've always wanted to meet someone who owns a dark room. Why is that? I wanted to get in the dark room and see what develops. Oh. <laughs> okay. I must confess, I didn't expect that to develop. You married, lady? No, Jack, I'm single. All the more interesting. Are you married, uh, Larry? No, but uh, I have somebody here with me today that's keeping a close watch, so, I, you know. <laughs> well, in case she looks away for a moment or two, you can never tell. You <laughs> She's might... got eyes in the back of her head. In the back of her head, okay. <laughs> well, we'll give you two a chance to play our game right now. I'm going to give you an opportunity to look at the categories, and here they are. In this game, we'll have fast-forward music. I'll explain that when we get to it. Followed by U.S. history, want ads, where am I? And finally, comic strips. As you know, if you take the fast forward category, you can keep on playing even until you win the game. But it is your first spin as the challenger, Judy Tesh. Good luck. Thank you, Jack. Joker, where am I? And comic strips. Um, Jack, I think I'll go with comic strips for 100. In 1907, a comic strip featuring Augustus Mutt and his pint-sized friend became the first daily comic strip. Name Mutt's partner. Jeff. Yes, Mutt and Jeff. You have a hundred. Name number three, Larry Price. Good luck. Comic strip, Joker, and what ads? Jack, I don't usually read the comic strips, so I will take classified one ads for a hundred. Give me the name of the television character who answered this ad. Room for rent behind Cunningham household. Nerds need not apply. I don't know the answer to that. $100 if you can tell me. Fonzie. Fonzie, right. And you have $200, and it's your spin. Joker, Joker, Joker. We have it, please. That moment everybody waits for. Three jokers. Now you take one category. Answer a question. Answer it. The game is yours. Uh, Jack, I think I'll uh, go with comic strips. Okay. Correct answer wins you the game. And miss this, and the game goes on as before. The oldest comic strip in the United States featured two characters whose first names are Hans and Fritz. For $500 and a victory, what's the title of the comic strip? The Cats and Jammer Kids? You win the game. <laughs> Congratulations, Judy Case. You have just won $500, the championship and the right to face the devil, which you'll do in just a moment. Larry, I know that's kind of sad news for you, but you don't go home empty-handed by a long shot. You were with us some time ago, you're back now, and you go home with cash and prizes of $5,250. Congratulations. <laughs> we'll be back to the against the devil after this. receive some of the following rally car wax from DuPont. It'll take your car from dull to dazzling in minutes. Really? Rally! There's no faster wax on wheels. And Iperine baby washcloths. Moisture-packed towelettes with lanolin and clean and conditioned baby skin. Keep your baby better than clean with Iperine. Also win tonight, tonight, La Paz party mixes are right. And so, Judy Tate, you have won yourself 500 and a chance to win some marvelous prizes. Come on over here and see if you can beat the devil. Did you get a chance to come over here? You did say that you are single. Yes, I and am. And you're in photography. Right. Well, someday your prince will come. Oh. Anyway. Oh, I have him with me. Oh, you have? What's that? I'm waiting for him to turn into a handsome prince. Oh, it's a little frog. <laughs> can, can you see that? It's a little frog, and she's waiting for him to turn into a prince. Well, I tell you, I hope he doesn't turn into a devil. And if oh. you can avoid that devil, you will win all the lovely prizes that Larry couldn't. That the elegant dinner at Benihana, and the trip to Japan, and the Oriental rug, and all, all told, prizes worth almost $3,700. You ready? I, I want that trip. All right. <laughs> Give him a spin. 
First spin gets you 50, 100, and 150. Out of my mother and my cousin are in the audience. Oh, they're telling you to go. Yeah, go. I'm going. Okay, risk 300. That devil's on a rampage on this program. Nasty fellow. Well, Judy, I'll say the same thing to you. I said to Larry Price that if you can win another game, you can come back here and try for those prizes again. So go on back and see if you can win them. Thank Good you, luck Jay. to you. Nice hand for a disappointed lady. Well, we uh, said goodbye a few moments ago to Larry Price. And now, Jay Stewart, tell us who the next challenger will be. That's my pleasure, a private duty nurse. He's a keyboard artist, and he likes to go fishing. Meet Joe Price. <laughs> Joe, welcome to the program. Thank you, Jack. Your predecessor was Larry Price. He didn't do too well. And you're Joe Price, and you're going to hope that the price is right, right? Right. Oh. Delighted to have you here, Joe. But you don't have to boo all of these things, I say. <laughs> Uh, what, you are a, a male nurse? Yeah. I see. And what, what is this about when you're off hours, you, you lay out and swim all day? Where do you lay out? I go to the beach, I go bicycle riding, I roller skate. I do anything in the sun, you know, just to get black and beautiful. <laughs> I wasn't certain, but I thought you had a head start. One out of two ain't bad. <laughs> well, you're a nice looking guy. Tell me something, uh, I understand as a male nurse you have taken care of some very, very prominent people. Any who particularly remain in your memory as having been marvelous people? Yes. The majority of them are really nice, beautiful people. But I took care of John Ford, the movie director. Oh, the famous veteran director, yes. And he was the one that started me watching quiz shows. We would watch quiz shows every morning. Is that right? Yeah. He was a big devotee of quiz programs. No yes, wonder he was a good director. We're delighted. Delighted to have you here, Joe. Let me show you and Judy Takes the categories we'll use in the game. They are grab bag, take it, and it could be almost any category, followed by the presidents. Then we have bestsellers, colorful names, and finally, the art world. Challenging goes first, Joe Price. I want to remind both of you players, because every once in a while I forget and I make mistakes myself, that the first answer always counts, whether it's selecting a category or providing an answer to a question. So if you say, oh boy, I'll take 50, and I say, and then you correct yourself and say, I'll take 100, I have to call you, call you back and make you take the 50, okay? okay? Joe, it's your spin. Good luck. Joker, bestsellers, and a triple. Jack, I'd like bestsellers for 200. Okay, in 1970, a doctor named David Rubin wrote a best-selling book that told everything you wanted to know about a certain subject. According to the title of that book, what was the subject? Six. You know that one, right, for $200. <laughs> Judy Pace, your thing, good luck. Okay, I'd like some of those jokers, too. President, colorful names, and a joker. Okay, Jack, I'll take colorful names for 100 On both radio and television, the Lone Ranger rode a white stallion with a colorful name. What was the name? Silver. Correct, and you have 100. Okay, Joe. Come on, Joe. Art World, bestsellers, and the president's not too good. Bestsellers for 50, please. In 1975, author James Clavell wrote a bestseller entitled Shogun. Its setting was an Asian nation. Which Asian nation was the setting for Shogun? Japan. Correct, and you have 250. Judy. Joker. Grab bag, bestsellers, and a pair. Okay, uh, Jack, I'll take bestsellers for 100. A 1978 bestseller by Jay Anson is presented as nonfiction and tells the story of a family who flees in horror from their Long Island home. Name that national bestseller. Uh, is that the Amityville Horror? You bet it is, and you have $200. Amityville, right a mile from my hometown of Lindenhurst, Long Island. Okay, your spin, Joe. I'm on Joe. Joker, Art World, and a triple. Art World for 200, Jack. One classic painting by Rembrandt depicts the Greek philosopher Aristotle looking at a statue of another important Greek. Complete its title, which is Aristotle contemplating the bust of whom? Homer. Yes, right, you have 450. Judy. Hey, let's go, Jokers. Colorful names, art world, and there's one joker. 
Okay, Jack, I'll go with colorful names again for a hundred. In a popular children's story, a good fairy changes Pinocchio from a puppet into a real boy. By what colorful name was the fairy known? Tinkerbell? Nope, and you can win the game with $550, Joe. What is it? Oh, sorry, the blue fairy. Oh. Blue fairy, score stays 450 to 200, and we'll finish it if there's time right after this. Judy and Joe, with the score 450 to 200, when Joe with you in a commanding lead, we simply don't have time to finish this game. So I'll ask you both to go back to the next program. Judy, okay? okay. Joe, okay? Sure. When we reassemble, we'll have this same score of 450 to 200, and we'll find out in short order which of you is the winner. For those of you who are watching, we hope you will rejoin us on the next episode of The Joker's Wild to find out whether Joe becomes the champion or Judy can win game number two. Until then, Jack Barry for everybody in The Joker's Wild saying thanks for watching and goodbye, everybody. <laughs>